Begin standing, hands at heart center, preparing mentally for a quick, strong, invigorating practice. Step your legs apart, arms out, and begin to swing loosely left and right, lubricating the vertebra. Continue for 10 rounds. Step your right foot slightly forwards, lift the heel, and wiggle the knee back and forth to clear out restrictions in your right hip socket. Repeat on the left side. Shrug both shoulders front to back, then add arm circles to awaken the shoulder girdle. Reverse directions back to front, first shrugging, then full arm circles. Grab the right wrist above your head with your left hand, side bend to the left, lengthening the right side of your body. Switch sides, lengthening the left side of your body. Feel free to lift the left heel to help you get more space. Right hand grips the left wrist, fling the left hand back and forth. Switch wrists, fling the right hand back and forth. Interlace fingers, roll the wrists in circles, and then flex them forward to crack the knuckles. Reach both hands behind the neck and massage the neck and trapezius muscles, rolling your head in whichever directions feel best. Reach tall to the sky, then fold forwards. Bend your knees enough to touch the floor with your fingertips, fully releasing your head and neck. Pedal the legs, gently leaning side to side to stretch the outer legs and hips. Place the hands shoulder width between the legs and step back with the left leg into a lizard lunge. Gently pulse to find length in the hip and groin. Firmly stabilize your left arm into its shoulder socket and reach the right arm to the sky, rotating the upper torso while drawing the belly button in and up, engaging from your center. Lower your right arm and jump switch into a lizard lunge with the left leg forwards, knee above the ankle. Again, explore the posture with gentle pulsing front, back, side to side. Firmly stabilize your right arm into its shoulder socket and reach the left arm to the sky, again engaging the scaffolding muscles deep in your core to assist the rotation. Lower your left arm, keep both arms straight and firm. 10 jump switches back and forth. Finish in plank and lower to sphinx. Look over your right shoulder as you lift your right leg and hover the right knee towards your right elbow then extend it back to Sphinx. Repeat this action on the left side. Continue back and forth with these crawling motions for 10 rounds. Make sure to move with control, initiating each movement through your center while keeping the elbows beneath the shoulders. Lower to your belly and place the hands for Cobra. Engage your pelvic floor and diaphragm muscles to protect your lower back. Retract the shoulder blades and explore Cobra for two breaths. Lift your hips to your first down dog. Take three breaths. Take a full vinyasa to fluidly roll through your spine. Chaturanga to up dog to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up and back. Bend the right knee, bringing heel to butt. Reach back with your left arm to try and grab your right ankle above you. Do your best to maintain this cross-body balance for a few breaths. Lower the arm and leg and stabilize shoulders and hips before switching sides. Lift the left leg, bend the knee, right arm reaches back to grab the ankle. If you're having trouble finding balance in the pose, slightly shorten the distance between your hand and foot. Maintain a steady breath. Lower your arms and legs back to a slightly shorter downward dog than usual. Begin 20 downward dog push-ups. Feel free to turn fingers in or out. Explore slightly different angles at your wrist until it feels optimal through your shoulders, simulating an overhead press. Keep going as best you can, working to exhaustion here. There's a rest coming soon. Great job. Slowly walk your hands back to your feet and stand entirely upon your hands in Padahastasana. Five full breaths to recover, 
Flush the stress from your shoulders and wrists while allowing the elbows to bend further to the sides with every exhale. Toes should try to kiss the bottom of the forearms if possible. Step off your hands and let's get into those legs. 10 squat jumps. Go for it. Be explosive with every leap. Keep going. Final hop. Then reach arms to ground and take a gorilla hop around your arms. Squat and roll back to plow. Then roll all the way forwards to a seated fold. A chance to relax and recover the breath before we condition the hip muscles. Roll up to seated and bend your right knee deeply into your chest. Clasp your fingers on the right knee to brace down. Draw a box shape with your left toes, keeping the legs straight, toes pointed forwards. Lift up, out, down, and back into center. Repeat 10 times. Every time you lift the leg up, try to get it higher than the previous. Good, switch sides. Again, brace the left knee with your clasped fingers and begin 10 box movements with the right leg. Keep your core engaged and spine tall as you attempt to isolate the hip flexors, the adductors, and the abductors. Remember to breathe because intense core work is on deck. Good, straighten both legs and fold forward. Then unroll all the way back to dish pose, arms extend overhead. Spin to your right onto your belly for arch pose. Then roll back to your left through dish to another arch. Then back to your right. Then back to your left. Keep rolling back and forth for 10 rounds. Tighten the core the entire time to protect your spine. Try to extend the limbs higher every arch, firing up all the muscles in your rear. Awesome job. One more roll, finishing in dish. Now 10 V-ups. Arms and legs snap upwards simultaneously as you condition the hips. If it's too much, modify with tuck-ups or sit-ups. Just a couple more. Last one. Then roll back towards plow, cross your ankles and grab your feet with your hands. Roll forwards and catch your balance. And carefully roll back and repeat. Balancing on your sitting bones, take an inhale. Roll back. Final time, catch your balance and let go of the feet and gently roll over the ankles to come into tabletop posture. Here's a chance to cool down as you slowly flow your spine through cat and cow. Add a clockwise spinal circle followed by a counterclockwise circle. Back to neutral, flip your right hand onto the back of the wrist. Slightly bend and straighten the right elbow a few times. Switch and flip your left wrist upside down, repeating the same small bends and extensions of the elbow. Then put both hands face down with the fingers pointing back towards knees. Tuck your toes and sit back, peeling your palms away from the floor to stretch your fingers. Shake the wrists and place the hands back to tabletop. Extend the right leg back and stack it on top of the left hip. Five times, lower the right foot straight down and kick it up to the ceiling. Allow your spine to follow the hip movement. Hold high after the fifth kick. Breathe and maximize extension. And release straight out to the right. Again, five times, lower the foot straight down and quickly kick it back up. Hold high after the fifth kick. Take an inhale. And release, hands and knees. Now left leg extends back and over the top of your right hip for the same exercises. Lower and kick up. Four, three, two, one. One, hold at the top. Then shoot it straight out to the left. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top of the last breath. And release back to tabletop. Great work. Let's find side plank on your right arm. Create full wingspan through your shoulders as you stack your left foot on top of your right and hold for 20 seconds. Press down strong through the knife edge of your right foot. Option to bend your left leg into tree or drop to the right shin as necessary. Feel buoyant through your hips. Engage your central scaffolding muscles to maintain balance. Carefully shift to side plank on your left arm. Make sure your left shoulder feels sturdy as you reach up with your right arm. Stack your right foot on top of the left and press down strong through the knife edge of your left foot. 
Again, holding for 20 seconds. Option to bend your right leg into tree or drop left shin to the floor. Engage your pelvic floor muscles as you lift your hips higher. Breathe and hold. Push-ups are next. Turn back to regular plank and widen the distance between your hands and begin 20 bench press style push-ups. Only lower down to where your chest meets the height of your elbows. Work all the way to exhaustion, dropping the knees as necessary. Good work. Downward dog for recovery. Pedal the legs and catch your breath. Here comes our second vinyasa, flowing like a wave forwards to chaturanga, to upward dog, and back to downward dog. Simultaneously lower both elbows to the ground. Bring your palms together and interlace the fingers, thumbs up. Then step the feet back to forearm plank for a 30 second hold. Close your eyes and tune into the deepest center of your body. Try to avoid slouching or lifting your hips. Keep reminding yourself to re-engage your pelvic floor muscles. Your hips should feel like an open hallway from your kidneys to your feet. You got this, stay strong. Five more seconds. Good, now walk your feet forwards, lifting hips to dolphin pose for another 20 second hold. Shoulders are fully extended overhead, feeling like open hallways between your lungs and elbows. Keep your head and neck relaxed between your upper arms. And get ready for a set of 10 dolphin dips. Shift your chest and shoulders forwards and then tap sternum to thumbs. Pull the hips up and back to dolphin. Keep repeating with integrity in the shoulders and spine. It's okay if the shoulders shift slightly forward of the elbows. Adjust your feet as necessary to refine the movements. Good. Finish in forearm plank and parallel the forearms. Simultaneously lift both elbows and shift to downward dog. Walk your feet a tad closer to your hands so you can ground your heels for stability. Lift your right leg up and shoot it straight out to its right. Carefully find your cross body balance as you lift your left arm and send it straight out to its left. Breathe and hold for 15 seconds. Feel the strong diagonal integration from your right shoulder through to your left hip. Slowly return to down dog and reset. Lift your left leg and send it straight out to its left. Lift right arm out to its right. Relax your head and neck as you hold for 15 seconds. If you're wobbly, focus on building this posture from the inside out engaging the navel and radiating equally through all the limbs. Return to downward dog and gorilla hop forwards into a squat. Leap up and twist to your right. Land in a squat. Jump up into your left. Again to your left. To your right. Again to your right. Back to your left. Again to your left. Back to your right. Again to your right. Back to your left. And last leap, quarter turn to the left, land in a straddle. Fold forward and recover for five breaths. Well done. Lean forwards and stack your arms vertically under your shoulders. 10 handstand hops. Push down strong through the ground with your arms. Alternate between landing the feet in straddle and pike. Catch balance if you find it, but no worries if you don't. This is all about building confidence in your upper body. Tiny hops are fine as long as the weight gets into your arms. Keep going, do your best. Remember to breathe. One final hop, landing in straddle for some chimpanzees. Reach both hands to the right and follow by floating your legs to the right. Then twice back to the left, twice to the right, twice to the left, twice to the right, twice to the left, one more to the right, 
and a final leap. Quarter turn to the right, land in a squat, roll back to plow, and then all the way forwards as you fold to recover. Brace your hands inwards into your upper legs to create internal rotation at the hips. Take your time here to catch your breath as we have one last core sequence to go. Sit upright, point your toes, prop your fingertips next to your knees. From the deepest part of your core, lift both legs as high as possible and repeat till exhaustion. This is incredibly challenging, but stick with it doing the best you can, trying to minimize rounding of your spine. Don't forget to breathe. And now lean back to boat pose, steer your arms to the left and your legs to the right. Lower and lift 10 times. Maintain your tubular core as you fire up the obliques. If it's too much to dip, just stay upright and hold. Switch arms to your right, legs to your left. 10 more crossbody boat dips. You're almost there. Lie on your back and lift your legs straight up. Brace your arms along your sides and just lift your hips 10 times. Keep your middle back on the ground. This will isolate your lower abdominal muscles. You did it. Bend your knees to happy baby and grab your feet. Ah, finally time to truly relax. Hook your big toes with your trigger fingers and spread the legs into a straddle, stretching and releasing the inner thighs. Rebend the knees and bring bottoms of the feet together. Hold on to your ankles as your feet lower in front of your pelvis, toes point forwards. When shoulders reach full traction, enjoy the stretch on the sides of your neck. Carefully release the ankles, land in butterfly. Hands massage your hips as you rock your pelvis and knees side to side. Finally, straighten your legs into Shavasana and recover. Allow your breath to lengthen as the heart rate slows. Relax as much as possible with small adjustments to release any residual tension. As your nervous system calms down, your body will start to renew itself after this intense physical endeavor. Remain here and rest as long as you need to feel fully balanced before continuing onwards. Bring gratitude to yourself for showing up to your practice today. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide. Please take the benefits of this practice into everything in your life.